The best personality trait for a quant, I think, is to be curious and to keep asking questions. So you have to go out into the world, find things that aren't working the way they should, say, why doesn't that work right? How can I make it work well? And then when you make a model, you have to keep asking questions of yourself and of your model to say, is this really working right? Does this really match the data? What could be wrong with it? If I were explaining it to someone else, what questions would they ask? And then how would I answer those questions? Well, I think um, it's nice when uh, people are well-rounded. Uh, in, in quantitative finance, people have technical skills, obviously, but you know, maybe more uh, well-rounded skills. Also, um, it's nice when people are willing to share and um, willing to learn. I think the ability to learn, that's the very most important thing. Um, and uh, just to be able to adapt to the market. I think a um, inquisitiveness to try and learn that extra bit more than perhaps say, um, other quants and other banks have. And I would say the other key one is to understand the real world out there. Um, particularly in things like uh, CDA pricing and all the different add-ons to pricing nowadays that you have. It's no good just being able to do it formula. You need to be able to work out how the funding costs works in dealing rooms and how a funding desk will interact with other desks rather than just be mathematical. Oh, well, there are several. There is not just one unique personality trait. I mean, uh, in my opinion, he has to be uh, totally fluent with uh, how a bank works. I mean, it's not just enough to be uh, confident on you know what a transaction is about. I mean, the, the, the work of a quant is not anymore focused on individual transactions anymore or individual businesses. It's mostly focused on uh, really how a bank works, and uh, so that 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 has to be uh, really a skill. I mean, and, and the other skill is technology. I mean, a quant needs to relate to uh, to uh, the, the whole technology uh, support system that the bank has, and and in a way they have to. Uh, um, coordinate uh, business objectives uh, with the uh, technology implementations. I mean, banks nowadays are really big technology firms, and, and that's that's what they do. And, and so that this work of coordination is absolutely essential and key. I already uh, mentioned, so I think flexibility is uh, the right quality for a quant. Uh, we are changing all kind of methodologies which are used in the quant profession nowadays. So we have to be flexible to switch from certain set of techniques to a completely new set of techniques. So it requires a lot of additional preparations, a lot of, uh, let's say, taking ideas from other fields which are very similar to finance. So uh, the necessity uh, to, to, to get a hold of these new ideas requires a quant to be very flexible and to be adaptable to uh, the new environment. Well, like, as I said, you need to be, uh, well, this is, sounds a little bit strange to say in, in the financial industry, but you need to be humble, okay? Because if you're humble, you're open to learn new things, to listen to other people's point of view, and to uh, broaden your uh, you know, area of uh, work, which is fundamental now. As I said, you cannot specialize in a very narrow area and feel you know, like you're the king of this thing and you're under control of everything, you need to be humble because there are many things you're not thinking about and to be open means that you need to be open to listen to other people and other point of view, even different from your own and from different areas. So I would say that humility is, is interestingly now a fundamental trait of a quant, not something you find easily in the financial industry anyway. Yeah. Probably explaining a very complex problem with uh, simple words basically because usually it's very complex. Less formulas is better. I would say it's being, um, being very much on the cutting edge of finance. So it's uh, being, uh, there has to be an awful lot of innovation about what the quants do. And also I think these days uh, they have to really be, be listening to the market, seeing where the trends are going, what's happening. It is a moment of change within the banking world. So I think the main, uh, the main quality of a quant these days is really staying in touch with, uh, with where the market's going and how things are changing and making sure that they're following that change.